What is up guys, uh, Kibo Crystallis here of Inside Inside. I haven't recorded a video in quite a while because uh, I've been primarily focused on just educating myself on like more things automation wise, stepping into basic JavaScript, basic Python, etc. Because I always felt like uh, the coding aspect was a bit of a limitation for me. But I'm back with something really, really good that you guys are going to enjoy. This thing is called Selenium IDE. It's a Chrome extension that was created by Selenium, of course, which basically allows you to automate your Chrome or Firefox browser, right, without any major uh, code understanding basically you can also if you do have good code understanding you can export this into a python or javascript file and then edit it directly in intellij or uh, pycharm depending upon what language you're able to code in if you have barely an, any understanding of code you can basically run the whole script and create the whole script directly from this extension itself as long as you have a basic understanding of locators now locators uh, super simply are basically let's say you want the bot to click a button after it opens up chrome right in order to be able to do that you need to specify to selenium id where it can find the button in order to be able to do that you need to understand web locators now web locators work with you web locators basically are broken down into four or five categories if i'm not mistaken class uh, id um i forget the other ones i've got them listed down somewhere but with the use of these locators which you can get from developer mode now to get into developer mode you just i'm sure you guys know this you click inspect and then you're basically able to see the class of the button that you wanted to click right and then also see the text inside so if you look at what we've built in Selenium IDE, you'll see that the locator, and this is just XML syntax here to be able to find the segment that we're working with, right? It's, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's this. So I'm not sure if it, forward dash dash, asterisk, bracket, add class. So I'm stating that the class that I want the uh, Selenium IDE to click on is font 9D927, which you'll see here as well, right? And font 9d97 yada yada that's the class button container i'm not sure if i no i did include this and right and text uh bracket bracket equals quote quotation or speech mark my syntax is so shit <laughs> you uh, follow simple as that because the unfollow the following buttons i think they have the exact same class but the text contained following so in order to distinguish between that we included follow and it's dynamic so as soon as you click an actual button it changes from following from follow to following so the text inside changes so that the bot doesn't click the exact same thing twice so let's run it super quick just to confirm that it works now to run something in selenium id you just click on run all tests and then product hunt buy me a coffee then find that page that's because we had it on a duplicate i think and that's the issue so just change the open to the open value stop now to stop just click stop test execution uh whenever you're running it for the first time it can get super confusing change the target target always specifies where uh on what page or on what locator do you want to run it here it's a page here it's an actual locator etc here it's the actual screen resolution size so target is the the, the number itself let's run all tests again just to clarify perfect following and now as you can see it's actually clicking all the locators that we've specified before and we have it on a for loop i think for loop if i'm not mistaken again my syntax is just the same like a three-year-old and what it's doing is it simply clicks all the follow buttons over and over and over again now these people in the back end they're also getting a notification directly from product hunt saying kiroko stylus has followed you and then on the back end of that on my profile i've got a link directly to my website so that's www.insideinsight.at now um pretty cool i mean honestly it's it's pretty cool no code uh, very minimal code as well if you do understand code and then you pull it into intellij or pycharm the uh the 
the what's it called the opportunities are limitless as far as your creativity goes and the, the tool just generally holds a lot of potential what i'm applying it for for the given second is i'm trying to build a reddit dm bot i know reddit has an api as well so i'm not 100 sure if selenium id is the right way to go about it but i've also started dwelling into some basic python uh and java coding just to be able to code it directly from a, an ide so an actual environment where you can code from um and yeah it's been quite a educational curve for me to be entirely honest and that's the purpose of this bot all bots generally speaking have three functions from what i've understood so far scraping so that's collecting data from a website clicking or typing or all together or a selection of one or the other etc so with an understanding of selenium id and with an understanding like a basic understanding of some python and java you're basically able to replicate these three end results indefinitely like over and over and over again so what i recommend is uh install selenium id that's for sure i'll just close this super quick then once you've installed selenium id get uh familiar with the interface and then if you want to dwell deeper install something like uh, pycharm let's just see what we got yeah install something like pycharm basically so that you can also understand how you code it on the back end so pycharm the community edition is free and uh, if you want to do it in java install eclipse ide for java developers now because i'm in the group and we do have a couple of developers there the group that i'm talking about is growth hackers inc people told me learn python first instead of java because the syntax is a lot easier i'm an idiot because i spent two weeks uh neglecting this advice but after i did some java and i realized okay it, it's not too hard but it's also not too easy after you switch to python you're like wow <laughs> this is incredibly incredibly easy and um keep an eye on those two things as well if you do have time try and learn some code and check out selenium id which you can basically download from the web store the the potential is limitless now if you want me to after you've downloaded selenium id if you want me to actually send you this uh the file that we've compiled so far with the locators feel free just uh basically reach out to me on whatsapp my details are in the description below and uh, tell me hey i want the selenium ide file uh for product hunt and i'll simply send it over to you and also don't forget to join growth hackers inc so we have a whatsapp and a facebook group with the literally the best growth hackers from a wide array of industries um there is a link to the group in the description below. Thank you very much, guys, and take care.